Hey everybody, how's it going? So today I got a quick unboxing and unbagging to do uh, from an item I picked up from eBay for the limited 2000 Forerunner. So please stick around, check out the video, and I'll see you guys there. Thank you for watching. Hey everybody, how's it going? So before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe, and smoosh the bell notification icon for future updates. Alright, so uh, this is that bag from Emart Supply, Chicago, Illinois. Um, I'm going to rip this one open real quick. what this is. It's in another baggie. Alright. Okay, so this is this is the GPS antenna for the stereo. Um, so this is because here, I'll grab the stereo and I'll show you guys. So I have, now I own three of these stereos. One for the SR5, which is this one right here. This came out of the SR5 Forerunner. Um, there's, there's one in the 2005 Ford Excursion. And then I have one on the way that I won the bid on that's gonna go in the Limited. Um, so on the back of this stereo, there's this green port right here. This is a GPS navigation system. So it's got maps and everything. So this cable plugs in right there. Um, and it actually says it on the back, GPS antenna. Frequency 1575 to 42 uh, megahertz. Voltage three volts to five volt. So this is a new antenna that will sit on the dash. Um, so that way it can coordinate the the map that you're using while you're driving down the road. Um, that's what this guy is. This guy is, this guy's magnetic too. That's um that's pretty neat. <laughs> I didn't know it was magnetic. Yeah, cool. Um, that means that the Pioneer one's probably magnetic too. I could be wrong. I think this is an aftermarket. I don't think this is a Pioneer um, antenna. Um, but it will do what I need it to do. It's kind of neat that it's magnetic. Pretty strong little magnet too. I usually leave these on the dash inside the vehicle. Uh, most people, they do wire them out of the vehicle and put them, you know, on the roof or something. Uh, I'm more than likely going to do what I always do and, and wire it inside the vehicle and just let it sit on top of the dash mat. Um, but that's what that is. Just a, a, a an antenna so to make sure that the maps can be used on the GPS navigation system. Um, it looks pretty similar, to be honest, as the Pioneer. Um, if I can find a Pioneer one, I'm going to spend the 10 bucks or so, 30 bucks or whatever that they that the Pioneer one sells for. Um, and I'm not going to I'm not going to complain on having extras um, of these items. <coughs> but, you know, just a quick video. It's a little GPS antenna. Um, I will see if I can get you guys the part number for it. Um, and I will link it in the description if I if I find the part number. Um, I just looked up AVIC 8200 Next GPS antenna, um, and this came up. I'm sure this is not the Pioneer, because I remember correctly the one that I have for the Pioneer. It actually says Pioneer on it. So it's not a name brand, um, but I will be... It, I will be looking for another one um, because if if I can find the Pioneer one, then I'll put the, I'll install the Pioneer one and then I'll just sell this one if if you know I need to. Um, I do appreciate you guys stopping by, checking out the video. Please like, comment, subscribe. 
smush the bell notification icon for future updates. Go check out my Amazon affiliate links, my Acme Tools affiliate links, my DJI Electronics affiliate links, as well as my Ohio Power Tools affiliate links. It was really nice of them to double package it so it didn't get damaged though. Um, that is all I got for you guys today. If you guys have any questions um, at all, just you know, don't uh, feel free to ask. Um, feel free to comment and uh, you know, leave a question. Um, I will do everything I can to answer questions about that specific stereo. If you guys are looking for one of those stereos, or if you would like to know more about the Avic um, next units. Um, they still make units, they just, just don't make that 8200 Nex anymore. Um, the new one is a AVIC W8400, 80, 82, uh, 300, 8400, 8500, 8600, and 8800 Nex units. Um, so there's a W in front of, a, in front of the 8, uh, the 8000 number now. Um, and those have separate harnesses. So, um, and what I mean by that, I'll show you guys real quick. This one, it's got one harness for that this plugs into the, the vehicle's harness. On the, the W8300, 8400, 85, 86, 8700, and 8800 next units, this, these pigtails are actually in a plug. Um, so they're not actually wired into the unit anymore. There's another plug like this. It plugs in on this side that all of these wires are attached to that plug so you can unplug this set of wires if you don't need them um, or you can plug them in if you do that is the difference um, everything else is pretty much the same it's got the exact same face plate exact same buttons exact same face plate same seven inch touch screen but that is all I got for you guys appreciate you guys stopping by as always hope to see you guys on the next video and um, you guys have an awesome rest of your day. Peace.